The SUV was barely visible after nearly completely crumpling beneath the parked trailer early this morning. Three people died at the scene. A 15 year old girl managed to survive. Trailers like this are specifically designed to avoid this kind of carnage. They have these gates or bumpers on the back end to keep cars from sliding underneath with the hope of limiting the severity of injuries. But in this case, the trailer was facing backwards on the road. When the SUV hit it, there was no guard to lessen the blow. Snohomish County says the truck was allowed to be parked along the side of that road, but not facing the wrong way. When we asked this man who said the trailer was his, people from his insurance company told him not to talk to us. They just wanted me to pick up the trailer. We just wanted, we were just picking up the trailer. <laughs> sure, but I'm, I'm trying to figure out the legality of um, having it face this way I'm as sorry. opposed to that way. I'm sorry. Who are you? Um, I'm here to help pick up the trailer. Okay. But again, is it legal to park the trailer facing this way as opposed to facing that way? Can you tell me that? Can't comment? Can I get your name? So again, that trailer was parked here illegally. We're told by truckers that they will sometimes do that to butt the back ends of their trailers up against one another so the people can't break into them. But in this case, it may have helped contribute to the deaths of three people. As for the investigation itself, it is ongoing. No word yet as to the identities of these folks or as to whether drugs or alcohol may have been involved. The lone survivor in this case, a 15 year old girl, has now been upgraded to satisfactory condition. Near Linwood, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.